the Rangers went to Montreal and won Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. And as our Kareth Burke tells us, on Sunday, the focus wasn't just on hockey. New York Rangers family has been touched by a little Quebec family. The team supported Marty San Louis by going to his mother's funeral on Sunday. Marty spent the day with his family, so on his behalf, some teammates described some of the emotions running through the Rangers locker room. It was a tough moment to put into words, I think. Uh, such a personal matter. You know, I've just gotten to know him a couple months here. And um, you just see it in his eyes. There's pain there for sure. The timing of it probably leads to a great story. And, and we want it to be a great story. We're not trying to hide that. Um, at the same time, we've played good hockey all year. And I think just the biggest thing, it, it made Marty uh, made Marty get to know the guys and the, the group and the organization a lot quicker than he would have if you know if that didn't happen today was obviously the the big day as far as helping us turn the page and and move forward and there was a, a strong message from marty in today uh but just because of who marty is and how we've all handled this so far i mean you know, we've just come to the rink and done our business. And with that business in mind, it's time to welcome in our Rangers insider, Pat Leonard. The Canadians are upset with the Rangers. They feel like Chris Kreider deliberately ran into goaltender Carey Price. What did you notice on that play? Well, I feel like the play never happens unless Kreider gets past Alexi Emelin, the Canadians defenseman, and then Emelin swats his stick straight across Kreider's front of his legs. Now, Kreider said after the game that he does tend to have a problem gaining his footing on those types of plays but he's such a fast skater and so you understand why he loses his footing anyway the Canadians are very unhappy with him Brandon Prust the former Ranger of all people comes out and says he should have done more to avoid it said it was intentional on Kreider's part even if he didn't intend to hurt Price gotcha even Prust said it was accidentally on purpose right. so there is a question about whether Price will be playing what do you think will happen uh, well I love Delane Vigneault's uh, comment in his press conference right he was asked and he said well Price will be in net even though Price skated today on his own not with the team uh, coach Michelle Terrian called it a therapy day he seems questionable uh, but really maybe the Canadians have no other choice their backup is Peter Budai who honestly no offense to him is not ready to play the Rangers in game two of the Eastern Conference finals uh, so I think Price probably ends up playing anyway all right a very big game indeed Pat thank you very much that does it for us from the Bell Center I'll send it back to you in the studio Thanks, guys. Now the Rangers find themselves in the midst of a four-game winning streak going into game two. They're averaging over four goals a game and have converted 33% of their power play opportunities during the winning streak.